Now, here's what I was talking about when, I, when I'm talking about personnel. All right, now here's where we talk about third down, all right? When, when we get on the field, we keep it simple. A lot of people call it by names. You know, I want to make sure I know what's on the field. As a defensive coach, all right, it's real simple. Personnel identification identified with the first digit being the running backs, the second digit number of tight ends. Because that tells me what they're doing too, all right? And that's the, those are the computer reports I get back. So when I know, when I hear 20 personnel, I know there's two running backs, no tight ends, but three what? Three wide receivers in the game. So right away, that's, that's all I hear from upstairs. Hey, it's 20 personnel, first and 10. And right away, boom, I know what I'm doing because right now they can run it, but they got three wides in the game. So you got basically minimum keep a six-man box, all right, and be able to have coverage on those three receivers, all right? Not just making calls based on, you know, it's time to call this thing. Understand what you're defensing. You know, 21 personnel, that's, these are all two-back deals right here. 21, that's normally what everybody runs, right eye, left eye. You know, that's two backs, one tight end, obviously two receivers. 22 and 23 is more short yards, goal line type things, all right? Well, you have to have a defense that can take care of basically those three yard gains, all right? And then the rest of this down here, you see this now, how many, 10 personnel is four wides and a running back. How many are you doing that? Four wides and a running back. Nobody? Tell you running up here. Get your hand up if you're running. One guy? Damn, all right? That, 11, one running back, one tight end. How many are doing that? Same guy. <laughs> so you guys all run 22 and 21? I love to play you guys. you guys. All right, 12 to me is another one. I'm sure you've seen that. Two, one running back, two tight ends. You seen that? I got to get these Florida schools to get up here and play you guys. All right? They're mostly all 10 and 10, 11. And the rest is all no back, zero, 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 one. But you want to know that, all right, as a defensive coach. Because when you break down tendencies, every one of them have a tendency. I'll bet you money, 20, 21, 22, 23 is high run. High run, all right? High run tendencies. When you get down to 10, 11, it's based on box count. Six, seven guys in the box, they're going to throw it, all right? Anything less, they'll run it. But that's the deal. Tech tendencies run pass, and then down and distance tendencies, all right? Third and one to two is what for you guys? Run or pass? Speak out. This, are you guys all right here or what? Run. Run. Thank you. Run. Most people. Run. All right? Third and three. Go ahead. Third and three. What are you doing? Run or pass? Run. like to play you. All right. I can stop you for three yards. I can't always stop you for one or what. Because everything you do in your base defense, all right, your base defense is geared to stop in three-yard gains. All right? And that's why when you go short yards, third and one or two, you got to have a call in there that's a spill call that makes everything bounce outside. Third and three at the college level, depends on who you're facing, but that could be a mix, 50-50 run pass. Then when you get to the, and I'll go through the down distance in a second with you, but that, that's what you need to understand, all right? Down and distance and what's going to take place in personnel. 